The injury suffered by this man crushed uh, both the side and the front of the head inwards, causing a number of fractures that radiated throughout the skull. It also, the blow on the side of the head actually pushed the maxilla, the, the lower part of the face sideways, and in doing so, it broke his neck. So I am sure the second blow killed him. We found a total of 27 individuals, but most of these were fragmentary. There were 12 skeletons that were still articulated in the ground, some better preserved than others. And of those, 10 had evidence of having died violently. So among these, four uh, have injuries that are consistent with projectiles, pr presumably bows and arrows. Another four skeletons have blows to the head, and this would have been done with a blunt instrument, a weapon like a club. And then there are some individuals that show fractures to the knees, to the hands, to the ribs, all consistent with a pattern of conflict wounds.